All right, welcome to my channel once again. So, we so we showing you how to design or how I design simple church flyers like this from start to finish. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll try to make it as fast as we possibly can. All right, so let's go ahead. Now, first, I have to go and as before, make sure I have the flyer size, everything that I need. So I'm going to copy this flyer and set it aside. So now we can start afresh. Now head over here and my grab my rectangle tool. I'll just click and drag or form this rectangle size of an A5. First, I have to ensure that my paper is in A5 size. And then I'll make that my fly with a um, with landscape. And then I'll make sure the size of my frame is exactly the same size as this. As the A5. Okay, now that I've done that, I personally like my flyers to be a little smaller, not exactly A5, just a little smaller. Okay, but we can go ahead and just stick the exact size of this flyer. So I'll click on this, and when, when I click on this, the the size of this flyer will just show you. You can see it here. Let's change that to centimeter. Let's change that to centimeter. Centimeter. And now let's check that again. 18.2 by 13.4 so let's make this 18.2 by 13.4 18.2 by 13.4 enter all right so this is the size of our flyer okay what i usually do which is what i did here is to put ensure that i have okay let's remove this up this guideline so we can see how i got the guidelines i always put guidelines when i'm designing a flyer to be printed the reason is that it will guide my design and ensure that it doesn't it doesn't go out of my text doesn't go out of the frame you know, such a when they'll be trimming it everything will be within frame so what i'll do is to go and grab my rectangle to again hold down my control key click and drag the form perfect rectangle and fill that with black now I'll remove the outline with this selected i'll make the size to be 0 0.5 by 0 0.5 now enter and i have a small thing with this selected i hold down my shift and i'll select this i'll press l on my keyboard to align left and t to align top then i'll zoom in here and drag my guidelines drop it here and drag on my guideline and drop it here I'll repeat the same process again with this selected hold down my shift and select this b on my keyboard to bring it to the bottom and R to take it to the right and I'll zoom in again and I'll grab this drop it here grab this and drop it here sorry to the end now we have our margin now while we are designing we show that our design will stay our text will be within this frame so this extra space you're seeing here will this extra margin you're seeing is the margin I'm leaving out for trimming now let's start the design process. First, I'm gonna go grab the colors that I used. Um, I think I use this color. I use a form of blue, which is a blue gradient. I think this use this. And then I made that a gradient. Um, I go grab my interactive field tool. I'll click and drag. And this is blue. Why this is blue? I'll change this to elliptical. Right. So I make this this blue. I think it's this blue. Well, then I'll make this black, something like this. All right, so I have something that looks like this. Let's see that again. I'll extend this out. Okay, so that the sort of the black will just be around the frame to be so much. You know, you can see the black there, but it's not just them so much. That's the effect I want to create. Next is to go and grab this. Now I downloaded this from Google. I wanted an image of um, an angel because I'm, 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 I'm dealing with a church. I want an image of an angel in the cloud. So I typed that on, on my on Google search bar and I got this, I got this image. So what I did now, what I'll do is to go grab my transparency tool and I will make that 90% transparent and I'll power clip this 
inside this frame. So I'll click this selected, I'll go to object and power clip, place inside frame, and there you go. Now I can edit this power clip a little, just move it a little upward. I think I'm okay with the way it's looking. Next, I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying to work on my background now. Next is to get this this sound bomb, this, this effect that you're seeing here. Now, I downloaded this image you're seeing from freepick.com and I'll start using some elements from it. Now, first, with everything selected, I'll just ungroup everything and then I'll remove this. I don't need this. I don't need this. What I need, I don't need this. I need this. Is what I need. So I used I'll power clip this inside. But this time, this time instead of just power clipping, what I'll do first, I'll go grab my transparency tool again. But this time I'll just click and drag. So the transparency will start from down and head up. It fills gradually. That's what effect I want this time. Now I'll power clip this inside the same container. I'll go object and power clip, place inside frame. And it's not that it's not as strong as I want it. I'm not going to edit it. All right, so grab my transparency tool again. Then I'll start reducing, increasing it. All right, so let's see how that goes. Just increase it a little more. See, All right, so I'm going to have the effect that I want. Okay, so I don't I don't want this black here. I want the black to be out. So I'll go inside and move that a little upward. I don't want that black there. I just take up the black a little. All right, so something like that. Yeah, I think I'm fine with this. Next, I need this this because I'm the 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 title of the of the event is advanced moving forward to the city. So I need I need I need something. I need a city, and this thing that I downloaded has city. So I'll just grab one of the cities that I, that that is here. I think I use this city. I just place that inside. Is a skyline, and you can already see the effect that it's it's having. You can already see the effect it's having this. So I'll do that. Sorry, it's already having the effect that I want. Um, let's see. All right. So I think that city is lost. Let me just use this. Okay, that's the city I got, and I'll just place that here, and you can see the city already. With the city selected, I'll select this box with hold on my shift, I'll press B on my keyboard to align button, L to align left, so to just centralize for me, and everything is already set. Next, I'll go grab, this is a church logo, I'll just grab that and place that by the side. And our design is almost almost set. Next, I want to get this text effect advanced. So what I'll, I'll do is to go grab my text tool and I'll start I'll start typing advanced. Just type advanced is the main text. I'll increase that a little. Then I'll change the font to cookie. I like using this font a lot. Cookie. I'll increase that. And make it this color yellow. Now the font is increased. Next, I'll go grab with the text selected. First, I'll change my units to pixels. I'm changing it to pixels because I want to use the contour tool. I'll go grab my contour tool and I'll make this outside contour and I'll I'll increase that a little, just increase that. I'll crank that up a little. I think around here. I don't know what I'm using, but I think it should be around here. 48. 48. Great, great. Now I have it at 48. And what I'll do next is uh, now that I've added control here, is to go and break this control apart. I'll select all of this, head over to my object, and break. Control apart. Control is broken now. Okay. Now I'll make the outline of the contour. I'll give it a yellow outline and I'll crank up the outline size. I think I used two. Was it three I used? Yeah, it looks like. Um, three is too big. 
reduce that a little okay i'll move that to the side and you can see that our design is almost almost set it's almost set okay next go type this text you have that moving forward to the city just grab my text to an ellipse moving forward moving forward to the city and i'll change i think i use i can use a different text here and i'll make it bold and i'll make it white um to be i'll just add a little let's say something around 18. what size are i use here 16 um this text is a little small 18 um let's say 20. i'm changing the font 20 20 and i just paste that just here make this city here make this capital c uh just move a little then i will grab this to this two point line just click and drag holding down my shift key to make a straight line after that i'll make the same line yellow same yellow i'm using and i'll crank up the the outline size a little and i have that ready sorry okay now you can see our design is almost almost set next i already have this image traced out already so i'll just grab the image and i'll place that here I'll just I'll, with the image selected, I'll hold down my shift and select my frame. I'll press B on my keyboard to align button and arrow my keyboard to align left. Now, when I when I when I download this image, I noticed that it has it was cut here. And same goes here too. It's also cut on, on both sides. And I don't like this. This hand should be full. So which was why I had to look for a way to cover it. So I, I grabbed my rectangle tool and just created something to cover that that image now i feel i'm yellow the same yellow i'm using remove this remove the outline oh, that's yellow i'm using oh sorry this all right so now i'm gonna go make get this call this so what i'll do is with this selected i go grab my shape tool and i head out to my property bar then this is the this is the, um, this is the same different point. This 0, 0 0.0 pixel, this one represents the top left corner of this point. This other one represents this, this other one represents this other corner, and this last one represents this corner. So what I'll do is I want to shape just this corner. So I'll change this to 100 pixels. Enter, and I have this code. Same way, if I had changed this, let's see how it would have worked. I can choose to change the, this and I can make this 50 pixels. As this other bottom here, here will be 50 pixels. If you see, see the curve there, I would have made it like this if I wanted to, but I did it the other way. But let's allow it like this now. Next, just go type. I won't type this or you can type the name of this man and I'll place it here. However, if you look at this frame I, I did here, where I, you see there's a, a little texture inside of this. Let's create that texture. What I, what I did, I will grab my rectangle tool again, just fill that with yellow. And I don't need the outline, I'll take out the outline. I'll double click here to give this dialog box. And I'll go to texture fill. Texture fill, and I have this texture. I'll say okay. So I have this texture now. Go grab my transparency tool and I'll reduce that texture to 86. 86. And then I'll power clip the texture inside this frame to give it that texture. Go to objects, power clip, power clip inside frame. And there we go. We have that texture. So now you can now see the texture. If it's too hidden, I can go in and increase reduce the the text the transparency a little more and let's make it 70 no so so too much 75 is okay 75 let's see okay it looks like now all right this is how it's looking like now okay i can leave it like this okay now next 
this advance is already hiding behind this man and I don't like that so I'm gonna pull that up a little just pick that up sorry okay I'm gonna select everything here and just pull that up uh, I don't want it hidden okay I think it's too big this is a little more right so now I can bring it down up, up. All right so I have this now next is to go type this text I won't type it in this class I won't type it in this session but well, that's easy to type just grab your text tool and type this text just put it here and then I'll just drop somewhere here my text is ready just grab your text tool just, just grab your text tool and start typing so we ought to just start typing I'm not, I'm not going to type that that's quite easy just type that next I need to get this the address I can just copy and paste but for those who would want to know how I did this it's quite easy grab my text tool and I'll type the name of the church house of grace house of grace international church right then I will change the font to I think I use Gotham I use Gotham that's the font I use Gotham and I will use the size of the font to about 12 make that white what's the font size here 12 no I, I used um, TW yeah then I made that ball and put there. Go to this phone I use. Then I made it white. Next is to go and get type this. This other text. Now, for this, I used the text box. And to create a text box, just grab your text tool, click and drag to form a text box. So you can now start typing everything within the text box. So I, try, I type 12 Parkland, Parkland Estate. We, we use a text box mostly when you're working with paragraph text. See, so it's best to use a text box if you work with paragraph text. Parkland Estates of Peter Ordele Road. I'm going to reduce the size a little more to like um, eight. What font did I use? Same font. I'm going to change that to this font. What font size here? Yeah, eight. Now, you, you have to note something else too. When you're designing for print, you design a flyer, you have to make sure that your font must not be smaller than eight points. Must not be smaller than eight points. If it's smaller than eight points, it, be, it, it will become difficult. It becomes difficult to read. So you want to make sure that as you're typing, your text must not be smaller than eight points. You can see in my case, the smallest point I'm using is even nine. So, with the phone number plus two, three, four, and put that eight zero four space four five four space six seven six seven. Now the email of the church info at house of Grace dot com dot ng. Next is the website www dot house of grace dot com dot ng. Right, I can make now make it yellow. Just one of you so this. Just one of you using. I reduce the size a bit. So just reduce this. Bring that down. So let me use the one that I just typed so we can see how I did that. Just move this in here and place it somewhere else. Right, so I have to select this and select this. I press L on my keyboard to align left. Wow, our design is ready. I, I, I want to be as fast as possible. Now for this, I downloaded this from... I'll just copy it and paste and I'll explain how I did it. What I did for the, the date was I downloaded this icon from Google, 
Delph icon for Google, then I type this. It's quite easy, just when I got the icon. Next, I grab my text tool and I start typing November, November 30. And I reduce the text size to eight. What did I use here? Eight, correct. I use eight, eight. And I'll change the text to this thick font. And I'll just paste that here. And I come down a little and do 20, 22. Now make the same the same color we're using. Next, I'll just put a line. I'll grab my two points line. I'll just click and drag on down my shape to create a straight line. Zoom in a little more. Just place that by the side here. Reduce that to a size that I like. Right, and I'll same color. Next, I want some difference, you know, so. I will make everything yellow, I'll make this other one. Why what one did I use here? I use it. Oh, there's a new font that I started using. 10 to 10 pm. And I'll just change the font to any font. I'm, I'm gonna use this here now. And I'll change bring it down to like 10, too small. Um 12, 12 will be okay for this. Uh, too big. Just bring that down a bit to 11. And I think the phone has so much text space and I make that white. For this, I'll grab my, my shape tool, pull that and just pull that in a little. And I have this now. But um, I think it's still, let's make it 10.5. Get 10 from 5. You see how it looks like 10 from 5. Right, I think I'm okay with 10 from 5. Okay, let me move this and place this one I just created here. I'll group this together. Next, I'll group this church logo together. Now, notice what I'm doing. I like, I wouldn't like, uh, just for the sake of uh, alignment, I like the church logo. And this, this is they are both up to be the same line top so i'll press i'll select the both of them and press t on my keyboard to align them top so the logo you look at this and the logo and this see the logo and this and this and this date you see they are the same line that's how i like the design and and you will notice every other thing is within my frame you notice i can move this a little thing is to can move this a little to the side okay Think this is too big i can reduce this a little just a little there we go and i pulled it down sorry um just take that up i'll pull everything down now all right so i have this you can see in a very short time i've been able to to design a beautiful church flyer and this can go to the press and don't forget while i'm designing i ensure that all of my colors is in the cmyk mode you can see all of my colors is the cmyk mode because it's going to the press all right so if you like what i'm doing please support me by sub subscribing like if you have a question please ask your question in the comment section and thank you <laughs>